everyone. Hope you enjoy these. Uh, you who are young, these these will not be easy. Uh, but uh, I hope you can watch them, watch this again and again. Pick up our wishful co if you get a chance. But uh, especially if you can learn French. But uh, see these comments again and again and consider whether they're true or not. But these are among the sharpest things ever that have ever been said about man in the Western world, at least. Uh, these are all Western terms like vanity, which I I suspect that you in in Korea and in Asia have this word vanity, but you don't use it in the same way. Just like I know you have the word sin, our word sin, but you don't have the same understanding of it. These are huge cultural myths, vanity and sin, uh, and they can't possibly be understood in the in in the Asian world as they are in the Western world. It's really impossible. Uh, that's not a criticism. I don't criticize you. Your myths may be much better than our myths. Uh, myths are all we have, of course. But your myths may be better than our myths. But these are the Western, the big guns. Uh, mono, monotheism, one God, uh, sin, and vanity. These are about the biggest of all our myths, I would say. I don't know what's bigger. Okay. Um, nice. Hypoc this is famous. Hypocrisy is a homage which vice renders to virtue. Okay, this is famous. Oh, I didn't finish telling you about Swift's poem. Oh, okay, I must tell you. It's too important. It's too wonderful. Wittiest, so witty. Okay, Swift imagines... Now, Swift was, a, was the dean of St. Patrick's Cathedral which was Church of England, in Dublin, Catholic Dublin, Ireland. So he was a very respected man in a country that was mostly uh, Protest uh, mostly Catholic, but the British, who controlled Ireland, were Protestant, Church of England. So, Swift, uh, one scene that I remember at least, uh, ladies from the church are playing bridge, I think. Maybe they're playing bridge, sitting around playing bridge. And one of them says, oh, uh, have you heard the news that Dr. Swift has died? And uh, one of them says, oh, really? I bid spades, playing a card game. Or spades, hearts, diamonds, clubs. So her reaction to the, death, to the news of the death of this man is, oh, really? That's terrible. May I have some ice cream? Oh, that's terrible. I bid spades. What do you bid? That is, let's continue the card game. He's talking about his own death. His own death. Well, this is wit. This is what it means to be witty, I would say, um, in the best sense. Uh, and it's good natured. He's not mean. He doesn't resent it. He's not angry. Uh, he's kidding. And in fact, probably he's, it's not true because he's loved and respected so much. Uh, I suppose it's safer to say he's simply writing a witty poem but it sure is a very witty poem.